Well, I'll just put some new strings on my guitar. My guitar. I don't really know if I like these Ernie Balls. I I think I'm going to go back to Diodarios and just... See, the thing is about the Diodarios is they don't have the gauge that I like. So I have to like buy the set of Diodarios plus like two single strings every time with every set. But a lot of other brands have this the, the, this thickness that I like. But these they just sound I don't know they don't sound as bright. So I think I think for this guitar I want it to be you know brighter. So I think I'm just gonna have to scrap everybody and go back to Diodario. I just I like some. <laughs> sounds and just that extra cluck that extra bit of harmonics and all that I think I need to go back to dead dial you know what I'm saying <laughs> a good sound for a hundred dollar practice amp it's got a lot of distortion and not too bad of a tone i mean it doesn't sound like a tube amp but it's because it's solid state <laughs> So I guess they sound pretty good. Thank you. 
Yep. <laughs> One thing, my last string is too close to the end of the frets, and every time I play it, it's there's like a 50% chance I'm gonna push pull the string off the fret, which sucks. And this neck should be like 32nd of an inch wider on just on the edges, not the string width. I like the string width. Well, I've got one more minute, two minutes on my tape. Yeah, I think we'll go back to Diodario and man. songs. <laughs> Seeing if my intonation's right. Pretty close. I didn't even set my intonation, I just put new strings on. But you should set your intonation when you change strings. But I didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew it'd be rap. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> 